Welcome to the Health Intention Manifestation for 2021. I'm Mandy Palmer. I'm so glad you're here. So you are here because you recognize the value of setting intentions versus goals. And they're very different. Intentions, they come from you and your soul, your intuition. And goals come from the ego mind and they become things that you should do whether it be from um, your past experiences, societal programming, there are things that they come from outside of you oftentimes and your intentions come from within. And you believe that using your divine power to manifest or envision what you want for yourself. And maybe you've had challenges in your life with your health and you're ready to see big change and make big change happen. You wanna set intentions for the year that help you make those big changes. So today's agenda, what we'll be doing, first I'll provide you with a little inspiration. I'll tell you a little bit about my story. Then I'll take you through a guided meditation where you'll do some envisioning. And then I'll take you through some journal prompts to help you get deeply in touch with your intentions. Then we'll create some practical steps to help you get there to bridge this together. And then I'll offer you a way to get additional help. So who am I? I'm Mandy Palmer. I'm a certified health coach. I'm a health strategist. And this list of symptoms here is what life was like all throughout my 20s and into my early 30s. And this photo here, in May 2014, my husband and I went to Italy and we were hiking in Cinque Terre. And at the time I was heavy into doing CrossFit. And so I was in decent shape, but on this hike, I, and for a few days on this trip, most of this trip, I was experiencing a flare up. And this was a flare up of neurological fatigue. And on this hike, I got so exhausted that I collapsed onto the ground crying because I could not continue. I just didn't have it in me. And that was so strange considering I was in decent shape doing CrossFit. And I eventually did get up. And at the end of this hike, when we finally reached the end, we reached this cafe on the edge of the bluff and it had a beautiful view of the ocean. And I ordered an orange lemon juice, freshly juiced from those Italian trees. And my body knew that I needed glucose, right? Because glucose helps our adrenals. And then it was three years later in February, 2017, when I found medical medium, and now I've been doing it for four years. And life is so much better. Four years later and two of them radical fat-free, I have so much more energy. I can do multiple things in one day. And if you have chronic fatigue or adrenal fatigue, you know that you only have so much energy to do things that require a lot of physical or mental energy in one day. I have no more migraines, insomnia, vertigo, fatigue, constipation. My night sweats are minimal. They're not as bad as they used to be. I used to have to change my pajamas three times in one night. <laughs> uh, and now I just get a little sweaty around my cycle. Um, but not every time. It really rarely happens now. My chemical sensitivities have improved so much more. They're not 100% gone. And I have a lot less bloating. And I have peace and can handle more stress in my life. When it happens, I don't get as worked up. I, I have things that I can do that I'm going to share with you today. And I'm able to fulfill my purpose every day, creating this space and guiding others. And I have the energy to do it. And so if you haven't been able to live your life as your best self for others and for yourself, accomplish what you want and feel good while living your life, I totally understand. And so I know that you are ready to set the intentions for a more energetic, peaceful and vibrant life starting now. So um, go ahead and pull out your journal. Hopefully you have that and, and answer why do you want to improve your health and how is this going to change your life? Go ahead and pause this and journal on that. 
So what you'll need for this session, a journal, which you already know, and a place that you'd like to write down your intentions. It doesn't have to be a journal, but I recommend it. And I hope you're in a nice, quiet, private space to do this meditation. So as you settle in, maybe you want to get some pillows and blankets and really comfy up your environment as you do this. Feel free to sit down or lie down. And if you're sitting, you might want to prop your butt up onto a pillow so that your spine can be in alignment. And as you settle in, I want you to be aware of how your body is supported by the earth. Every point that's touching the earth, feel how supported you are. And bring your attention to your breath. And as you inhale, fill your belly with air. And then exhale through your mouth, really letting out and letting go any tension. Inhaling through the nose, filling the belly. And exhaling through the mouth. And go ahead and bring your breathing back to inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. And bring your attention to the top of your head. And imagine that someone is pouring a warm bucket of water over your head, the way that the water touches you. It's relaxing, it's warm. And allow this to soften the top of your head. And now bring your attention to your face and your jaw and bring softness into this area. So if you're holding on to any muscles, especially the jaw, allow your teeth to separate and allow your tongue to float back towards your throat versus being pressed up against your teeth. And carry this feeling of softness down into your neck and your shoulders. Really take a nice deep breath and bring oxygen into that area. Breathe into it and exhale, let it go. And soften your chest, your back, your upper and lower back, your belly. And let go of your arms and just let them fall where they may. And soften your thighs, your lower legs, your feet and the bottoms of your feet. And take one more nice deep breath. Exhale and really let go. And now smile from your heart. Smile from your whole being. And go to yourself five years from now as if you've always had perfect health. Chronic illness never got to you. You feel joyful, energetic, and peaceful. And this is the best version of yourself. And observe what's going on. So where are you? What are your surroundings like in this life five years from now as if you've always had perfect health? Where are you? Who is around you? And what do you find yourself doing? How are you spending your time? What are you able to accomplish? Who have you become and what are your qualities?
What's your state of mind? What's your emotional state of mind? What's your perspective? And how are you feeling in your body? Are you feeling energized, limber, strong? How about joyful and free? And I want you to really connect with this version of yourself in perfect health with these positive emotions, what you're accomplishing, really feel this essence of you. And this is who you're meant to be. This is you as your best self, living your best life. And claim this as who you are, not who you will be, not who you want to be, who you are. This is your true self. Spiritually, you have everything within you to be this person. And you are divinely supported to embody this version of yourself. And bring some gratitude in. Have gratitude towards yourself for your strength and in the way that you show up for yourself. And take a nice deep breath. Energize your body once again and slowly begin to move your body and open up your eyes. And before you forget this experience, pull out your journal and, and, in, and journal on what you just envisioned for yourself, your, your exact envisionment that you had and answer these questions here on the screen and pause this, this video to do so. Who are you able to be? What are you able to feel physically and emotionally, both very important, what are you able to do? Little things, big things. And keep all of this in the present tense, not in the past tense of what you saw, not in the future tense of what will be, but in the present tense, keep it there. And pause this and journal. And your next journal, um, your next journal assignment is to create some I am statements. And I want you to create at least five. And I am statements are wonderful. They're very powerful mantras that bring you into your divine self and keep what you want for yourself in your present reality. So I'll give you some examples. Some of mine that I love to repeat are I am love. I am divine. I am compassion. I am vibrant health. And I used to use the I am, an, I am vibrant health a lot back when I was ill. Um, I find myself not using it as much anymore. Interesting, right? So go ahead and pause this and create those. And they can be longer statements too. They don't just have to be one word. So now that you have pictured yourself as energetic, vibrant, and peaceful, and all those wonderful positive, um, positive emotions, those experiences you envisioned for yourself, and who you were able to be, what you were able to do, and you've got your I am statements. And you know, the way that we've done this envisioning really and, and keeping it in the present tense is really a lot of the stuff that's taught in manifestation but you know it's the practical stuff that that will really help get us there and athletes before they 
before they perform and do what they need to do, a lot of them will close their eyes. I'm sure you've heard this and they'll, they'll go through in their mind, every single part of their performance, what they need to do, and they'll envision themselves winning. So a lot of it really is, is that is what we've done today. So now the question becomes, how are you going to get there? Um, how are you going to bridge what you envision for yourself and your most healthy and vibrant self with where you are today? And where does medical medium come into play? So the holistic harmonious nine, these are nine things that in my many years of working with people, I've discovered make a huge impact on how quickly they see results and if they ever see results. So you know that nourishing food and cleansing and supplements, you know, that's a really big part of seeing results. But so are all of these other things here, getting quality sleep, utilizing creativity. Anthony William talks about this in his healing path the healing path, the free course that he has on his website, our connection to nature. That is really important. Putting your hands in the dirt while gardening, putting your feet on the ground and earthing. Our connection to people and relationships. You know, not everybody has a supportive partner or supportive family member. A lot of times in this lifestyle, because it's so different, they often go against us. So it's really important to have someone in your life or a community of people that you feel supported by. And having resilience to stress and understanding our emotions and having, and the perspective that we have in life and when stressful things happen to us and our general perspective, how we handle things. Movement, movement's big, right? We need to move to move our lymph and um, spirituality, connection to our to source and our purpose. These all make a really big difference. So more journaling for you. So this practical step one, what is it that you already know that you can change about your food, right? There's probably already something, you have at least one thing, and if you can come up with three things that you know you can change about your food. And very important, make them positive things. So make them do's, don't make them don'ts. You know, don't say cut this out, don't do that. Make them do's. Anytime you're taking things away, you wanna be adding something. So go ahead and pause and journal on that. And practical step two. So now journal on it and write down what changes in your life or to your life do you need to make? So for an example, replace a bad habit with a positive action and write down at least three if you can change and think changes that you want to make to your lifestyle. And I'm going to go back to this slide and you can pause it here and maybe that will get you thinking about some things that you can that you can change in your life okay let's move on so now if all of that was easy great work you have these practical steps that you've written down for yourself you've come up with them while you're in a space of connecting to your intuition and your higher self. And hopefully they came out of that versus the ego mind and what you feel like you need to do. And you can always revisit them. It isn't permanent, you can make changes and you can even get more specific. So if you found that when you wrote these steps down, you weren't very specific, the more specific you can get, the more likely you'll be able to see how successful you were in reaching them. But if you had a little trouble, and if you're still wondering, how am I really going to make this happen? You know, creating big change is a holistic endeavor. It's a holistic endeavor. There's many things that come into play, just like the nine things that I have on that previous slide. It's not just about food, although that's a big part. It's about our state of mind and our ability to cope with what life sends our way, the support we receive or don't. And I had to learn all of this the hard way. 
in all of the years that I was trying to heal and failing. I was seeing an acupuncturist, a doctor of Chinese medicine. At one point I was seeing a functional medicine doctor. I was receiving chiropractic care regularly, massages regularly. I was exercising and I was eating paleo. And my lifestyle, all of my practitioners praised me for how I was taking care of myself. And I, and I just continued to get worse. I could go to my Chinese medicine doctor. I could go to the acupuncturist. They were separate people and they could make my migraine go away. If I was experiencing something, it was likely that they would lessen the, whatever it was that I was experiencing. Like I went to them a couple of times having terrible migraines and they would make them go away. It was amazing. But, 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 but I continued to get them. They didn't stop, right? They didn't lower in severity when they did happen. And, you know, I needed something different. I needed practical steps. I needed to get my stress under wraps. I needed different support. And, you know, so if you look at what you wrote and you think, yeah, but how, how am I actually going to stick with what I wrote down? by myself? And can I take medical medium info and apply it and stick with it for a long period of time? Because, you know, you can't just do this stuff for a month, a few months that may help. But if you're really ill, this has to be something that you stick with for a long, a longer term. And if you're wondering how you're able to do that, I totally understand. And it's because of this, that I was inspired to create a 90 day immersive cleanse And this is how you can get further support. Of course, I offer one-on-one sessions, but this is a group, um, an immersive small group experience that will transform your health and frequency for more energy, peace, and vitality. So for those of you that were struggling to come up with answers or wondering how you'll implement this info and what it specifically is, how it fits into your life in a practical way, This cleanse is 90 days of a detailed practical application and soul connection. You know, that's what we did today. We dove into your soul. And this is what we did today is we just barely scratched the surface of what you can accomplish. And let me give you a little, um, let me show you exactly what it is. So first month is about setting the foundation Um, This is the first class. What we did today, the intention setting and the manifestation is the first class. So you've already got that under your belt. Now you know what it's like to work with me a little bit more. Um, But, you know, every time we're not sitting and meditating, that's not what it's about. So every week there will be a class. Week two is about everyday cleansing with food. Week three is about stress, adrenaline and finding peace. And week four, we talk about movement, exercise, and how the chronically ill should and shouldn't be doing it, right? Because we can exhaust ourselves doing uh, exercise that's too intense for us. Then month two is about cleansing and reducing our toxin exposure. Uh, Week five, we go over how to live non-toxic living in a toxic world by going over what's in our home and our beauty routine. So we try and keep toxins out as much as we can, as much as we can control, because that's not, there's so much that we can't, but there are things that we can, and that's what this is about. Then we do a three, six, nine. So week six, we prep for the three, six, nine. Then during the three, six, nine, we have a support call. And week eight, we talk about transitioning out of the three, six, nine. Month three is about taking flight. So getting quality sleep and supporting the immune system with food, supporting the immune system with supplements and designing your unique protocol. Really important here. So the reason month three is called taking flight, this whole program basically is about giving you the tools that you need to empower yourself and really feel empowered with your health and ready to move on and do this stuff on your own. So I'm not going to tell you what it is that you need to do, you know, in the, you know, we're talking about food supplements, and then you get to design what 
your unique protocol is going to look like for you. And then on week 13, group coaching, we have a Q&A. Again, making sure that you feel solid in moving forward. And so this program, it will help you get crystal clear on what a typical day of meals looks like for you. You'll create your unique protocol, like I said, gain a sense of empowerment with your health, get expert guidance on discerning what you might want to apply or not, because not everything is, is going to be right for everybody at, every, at, at any different stage. You know, we're at different stages, um, so there's a lot I can talk about that. And then you'll gain a better understanding of how to use supplements, how to safely cleanse, and learn how to avoid typical detox symptoms, very important. Uh, and gain the tools and knowledge to move forward on your own and to quickly find serenity and keep adrenaline low. And I'm going to talk about that here. So basically what we're looking at, we're looking at weekly live interactive classes where you ask questions and get feedback on the topic. And then you have tools in the back end system, worksheets, guidebooks to help you implement that further. Everyone gets three personal uh, health strategy sessions. So one per month to keep you going and to make sure that you're creating a solid plan for yourself and to continue to get all your questions answered. And something really interesting, every two weeks, we'll be doing a compassion circle. Now this program has a lot of opportunity for you to get a lot of feedback. And the compassion circle is the opposite of that. So you'll have an opportunity to share your feelings, to express the challenges that you're going through and get nothing in return but love. You know, we don't always need someone to tell us what we need to do or offer suggestions or ask us questions about it. This is an opportunity to just receive that love. And, you know, it has been proven that that heart to heart transmission is a real thing. Greg Braden talks about this. So if you want to learn more about that, look him up. And then when someone else is talking, you have an opportunity to give love back. And let me tell you, as someone who has had chronic fatigue and adrenal fatigue, this is not an exhausting sort of thing. This is this will actually feed you this sort of interaction. It's, I'm really excited to be doing that. And then weekly Qigong sessions. So the reason I'm including weekly Qigong are a few reasons. One Qigong, which is an ancient system of Chinese exercises that uh, give you more uh, vitality and energy. And this is medical Qigong I do. So this Qigong was instrumental in helping me curb my stress and really find grounding quickly. It's an amazing tool when you have something going on and you're not feeling good or you're tired. It really helps um, invigorate you. And it's really, I really think that it, it was instrumental in um, helping me create the life that I wanted to create. And also we'll be doing live guided meditations and support via the Facebook group. So this is a very immersive cleanse. There is a lot. And remember we do a 369 in month two. And if you, if you do do this, please make sure that you purchase Cleanse to Heal or Liver Rescue um, because it's not appropriate for me to uh, distribute that material, but I can guide you through it and support you through it. So this is a very immersive cleanse. There's a lot happening here. Um, we meet weekly with a class and then we implement that topic, right? You guys have seen that. There's three personal sessions, compassion circles, Qigong, the live meditations to take action worksheets, a 369 group cleanse, access to me to ask questions, get the support that you need. And then four bonuses, which I haven't even told you about yet. And this adds up to over $1,600. And I didn't exaggerate these prices, okay? That's what it adds up to. And I originally was gonna charge $9.97, then I, that, then I thought, you know what? This is the first time I'm doing this. Um, I'm gonna make the cost a little lower. So $6.97 for three months or three payments of $2.96, we begin March 8th. And the very last day to sign up is March 12th. Remember March 8th, the first week is this class. And the four bonuses that I'm offering in this are a recipe book, 
with uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based, low-fat, no-fat, and of course, free of all the foods that feed pathogens and contribute to illness. Just to inspire you a little bit more, you know, this is what your kitchen can look like. This is what your plate can look like. And then three guides on um, the importance of strong relationships and community support, connecting to and living your purpose and the healing power of creativity. Remember, these were things that were in the, the holistic harmonious nine that I showed you, that I showed you. And all of these come with amazing take action journal prompts. So I'm all about writing things down and getting things out because that's when really great reflection can happen and self-discovery. Charlie says, what she shared resonated with me, made me feel seen, heard, and empowered to heal myself again. Carrie says, I was warm, non-judgmental, and helped us all tailor the cleanse, the 369, to meet our needs. And Melissine says, uh, she's a wonderful health coach who understands health on many levels, including physical, emotional, and spiritual with her thoughtful, considered, and caring approach. Mandy works with you to discover what solutions, healing, and practices might be most helpful. So let's recap today. So we did, we set intentions. So I want you to revisit what you envisioned for yourself. So look back at your journal, maybe turn it into a meditation where you're sitting in a quiet space, maybe playing some nice music and just going through all of that in your head, feeling exactly where you were, where you are with perfect health and feeling all of those things, going through what you're able to do, feel and be. And repeat your I am statements daily. They're very powerful. You can even do this as you're falling asleep at night. And return to your take action steps. Have them in a place where you can see them every day and be committed to following through with them. And if you can't follow through with them, please join the 90 day immersive cleanse. Um, you know, I'm so grateful to you for going through this and doing these exercises along with me and hearing what I have to say about this. And um, this is the, the replay. <laughs> so this is being emailed out. And to sign up, you can go to that link there, which is also in this email. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the link is in the description. And you can also just easily find it um, by navigating on my website, Mandy with an iPalmer.com. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me, Mandy with an I at MandyPalmer.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so grateful to you and be grateful to yourself for spending the time of doing this. And I look forward to communicating with you on this and working with you and having you in the 90 day immersive cleanse so that you can accomplish all of these things confidently and really feel empowered with your health. 